So the big question here with starting Pampas Railroads uh, is what is a fair bid? What is a good bid? The hard question about it is, hey, you know, if it was an XX game, as little as possible, maybe. But the value of the share is related to the amount of money you put in it. But it's not as clearly related as an XX. An XX, I put fifty dollars or I put ninety dollars in a share. That share is worth ninety dollars at that point. In this, it's worth what track I'm going to build plus some investment money, etc. And it's all very hard. Uh, I look at the cash that I have. Now, my goal is, of course, to make to have the most cash on hand. I have a lot on hand. If I bid zero, I'll still have that on hand. Of course, if I bid zero, my company doesn't exist. Uh, if I start a company with no money, it's it, it's worthless. It doesn't have a connection, therefore it makes no income. It doesn't have any track, so it has no value. So I get what I paid for. So obviously I want to pay at least five bucks, because then the company's worth five bucks at the end of the game, and presumably I can make some money off. I think I want to pay more than that though. I have 50 bucks per person, but there's the more shares probably is better than less shares of something good, especially since someone else can buy those something goods for less money if I overspend to begin with. Hard call, I'm going to have to kind of randomly determine how much I'm going to bid on things. and. I'll come back to you after we go through the bidding rounds. So the first certificate went, three people bid on it. We started off with a 15 here, this guy went to 20, this guy went to 21. 21 strange because increments of 5 tend to be what you can build with. He ended up paying, I believe, 23 for his company. That of course makes the next share purchasable with a $2 uh, overage or whatever. So it's not horrible. It's just it's not a natural number to pick. But it does give him a couple extra bucks to pay for something else later. Now he offers the Norte up and makes first bid on that. We'll see where that lands and see, see what the prices are kind of falling for. But it's pretty clear with six players holding 50 bucks, they probably should be call going for around 25 a share, I would guess. Uh, and the Sud might be one of the better companies because it starts out in Buenos Aires, which is valuable, and it gets first pick out of uh, out of the track lays there. Uh, what do we have coming out of there next? Another Buenos Aires. Uh, yeah, a number of companies going out of Buenos Aires. So I, I guess uh, what's the West Day? Uh, Yeah, it looks like everybody's coming out of Buenos Aires, so that's not that big a deal. And it may not be the best, because its direction is this way. And what we probably want is that San Nicolas. Looks good as it's heading into Rosario. Uh, where are mines? Mines are up here. I would say these are not that impressive a direction. But that's just a guess. It's hard to tell. All right. So we'll see uh, sort of a yellow line here built for the uh, suit. The Norte, a lot of people bid on this. He went up to 27, which is all he had. Ended up going for 30 bucks to the second player. And now he gets to build a piece of track, and there's only one he can build going up to San Nicolas. It looks like a good railroad to me. So does the next one, the Pacifico. Uh, the Oeste might be good, and of course the Central gets what's left, which might be good as well. Uh, but we're definitely seeing higher bids than I expected. Some of these players are getting out of hand. Well, it only gets worse. The Pacifico ended up going for 35. I believe it's track here. We're seeing everybody's coming out. It's using the orange. I don't have a great marker. I have crayons elsewhere, but I 
don't have them here. All right, that makes the next one the OS day. And this guy gets to offer it up. I'm sure he'll pay whatever he has, which is like 20 bucks. 10, uh, it's not even. What? 35, 45, 50, yeah. So he's going to bid his 15 bucks. He's not going to get it for that. There's no question. The problem here is some people may not get a railroad. Uh, if they don't, though, they'll have enough money that if they put a bid on a railroad, if they play a stock market card, they'll be able to buy what somebody else has paid too much for for very much less. And that's where the problem is here with these high bids. Well, We'll see what happens. So the West went for 24, a much saner sounding price. And last but not least, we have the auction with the Central. We'll see, this might actually end up going above that. Now the Central can go in any direction left, which is either down to La Plata, which while that's the biggest payoff initially, it seems like there's better growth in one of these directions. Well, like some growth. Uh, it would suck if you got stuck only going to La Plata. On the other hand, it does have a slightly higher payoff. And this guy with his $24 bid left himself $26. He thought he was going to get it. This guy jumped in with $27, has shares to two companies. Now he gets the pile to boot, which is kind of cool. I believe he does. Maybe I'm lying. Uh, well, I'll look that up and see if I'm lying. Uh, but I can't. Uh, after the five of the player, the first player is the player who went, yeah, I checked that already. All right, so he gets the deck. He gets to choose the first action. And... I can tell you he's going to pick, because he has no cash to develop his own cities, he's going to pick a railway building. And what's he going to increase? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll come back, uh, but he's going to build one of his track lights. I think he'll be building a central. Will he build more than one? Mm -hmm. See, he could double back. But that for 15 bucks, but that wouldn't really help him. So the question is, where's his biggest money? And I think it's in this direction. And I think he only wants to spend five bucks of his railway to build that. And the other action is a 15 buck. Maybe get him out all the way up here. Get a big jump on those mines. Yeah, he's going to spend 15 bucks and draw a two-track. So here's the interesting thing, and I'm going to go around in detail on the first turn, but probably not beyond that. We look at the values, and now his value has jumped up ahead to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bucks for all his connections. Whereas everyone else is at 5, 6 for a one-space connection. Now we come to the uh, player holding the share of the West. And he doesn't terribly want to race this way or this way. So he's probably going to take a one-track build. Does he want to do something else? Well, maybe. He's got the most money out of everyone. Um, would it make sense to take a share round with his cash as it stands right now? Perhaps, but he'd rather see more of what's going on before he does that. He doesn't think anybody's going to do a stock round right away. Well, it's possible Green might do one. Green's not going to have a lot of uh, the central owner. Um, he's not going to have a lot of cash even after that. So I think it makes the most sense to make a track lay with his West. To pay five bucks for a single track. Uh, and he's going to build that. Right here. Uh, 
and this is not the most pleasant thing in the world for you guys to see, I'm sure. That raises his, his value of, uh, his income value by two bucks, because now it's five, six, seven, eight. All right. Um, passes the cards down to the blue player, and we've already dumped a couple of train building cards out there. Well, let's keep going. So as we pointed out, the Norte built up to Villa Maria, and then the Pacifico went. He also spent 15 bucks and laid track uh, to Rosario and then to Santa Fe. He's now at a 13 share. And now we're coming to the people who have no shares at all. Uh, they have a lot of money. What do they want to do? Well, obviously they want to buy certificates. And they'll put a stock round out. Now, the fact that there's two people with 25 bucks on them each, and then somebody sitting here with 26 in hand, means they want to go for what they think is the best company at this point. Right now, hmm, what did I just do? I did wrong. Five, six, seven, eight. That's in the wrong place. Uh, it's the Pacifico that went 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, it looks red. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they want to buy what they see as the best options, and the more shares they can get of that, the more control they have a co corporation. If you have more shares than someone else, you get to make the building choices for that company. So, I have to choose what I'm bidding here. Chances are nothing's gonna go for under 26 though, because this guy's holding 26 bucks. So there was an interesting dynamic in play. This guy opened up with 26 bucks. The next guy, who needs a company who at just as well, says, okay, 27. Well, this guy realizes if I let him get it, I have the most money. I can buy the next one for 26 or 27 bucks, no question. But that next one may not happen. Because now, if this guy has whatever company, he gets to do either track lay or something else with that company. And there is still a track lay left. Or he can, you know, try to improve the income of that company. He doesn't have to buy shares. And I'll be left without anything increasing. So he went up to 30 bucks for his share. Now he's got to buy one. Now he's going to open up with 26 on whatever company he wants to buy. Hard to tell which one that is. I would guess the one that's getting all the money, the Pacifico, is the choice. Uh, initially, it was kind of a hard call. You know, these two are both high income. Which one's better? Track lay. The blue looks maybe a little stronger. Now, though, I don't think there's an option because the Pacifico has so much cash in it, it's gonna start producing more and more. So you wanna sell, you wanna buy into what other people are buying. That's my uh, interpretation of it. So this guy's gonna drop a stock mark card on, and he's gonna bid 26, which is sufficient to buy the next share of the Pacifico. And now, that's three shares of the Pacifico gone. There's only two left. Those had to go for a minimum of one-fifth the base value of the company. I didn't think about that, but the base value is 5, 10, 15. They couldn't have bid for less than three bucks, just by, based on the value of the track itself. And now, we're back on this guy. We've gone, uh, we've gone completely around the board. I'm gonna send this one up. Uh, I think you've gotten an idea of how the game starts to develop. Now I may not be playing the cleverest game for any of these people, but at least something of what's going on and how, how it plays out. We'll see what starts turning out from here.